Hello there, and welcome to a new series. Pyre. And, uh, I'm Lazybones. So, let me, uh, start off by reading the description of this game so you know what to, uh, expect, at least. Pyre is a party-based RPG from the creators of Bastion and Transistor. Uh, lead your band of exiles to freedom through a series of mystical competitions in the campaign. Or challenge a friend to a fast-paced ritual showdown in the head-to-head -head versus mode. Uh, this series will do a, uh, a campaign. Maybe one day we'll do a versus mode. But for right now we're going to do a campaign. It's... Uh, like it, like it said, it's a party-based RPG, indie, story-rich type of RPG thing. Uh, so hopefully this series is uh, fun. I saw a few game review videos about the game. Looks interesting. Uh, I like the artwork. Uh, so uh, let's get started and see how it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, okay. Had to press the button. <coughs> oh, my throat. Drink some water. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now, as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. The three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Move cursor here. Downside, a vast purgatory into which the Commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. None have been known to return from the forsaken land. Okay. Vitalios. Masked woman. Hmm. Another piece of filth expelled from the commonwealth. Masked something. See right on schedule what I tell you. You told us we put, uh... You told us we would find someone alive. Someday. I said we'd find someone alive someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't be glum. You know I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like he's breathing. Aha. Uh -huh. It seems, it seems he still is. Then stand aside. I shall send him to a better place. He's a he? Can you people just tell? Hang on. The marks on his rags. I think he's one of them. But look at him. He is beyond our help. And we are beyond his. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased, yeah? Good luck with that there, chum. See you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed. The day grows dim. You have a best an hour. You have at best an hour. Jeez. Understood. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. <laughs> ah. Okay, hello. My friend. Uh, don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us. We're equal. Nothing's here. We're equal. Nothing's here. Oh, okay. You are parched and he gives you drink. You ache and he binds your wounds. Your hunger and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now come on, Hedwin. He is one of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life in the downside. 
You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that per paraded Commonwealth criminals through alabaster streets. A proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups, founded on principles of mercy and kinship whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Hedwin beckons you to enter the Black Wagon. A track to proceed. Oh, I've been pressing A this whole time. The weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient-looking books. The Kritanaste. I'm back. Agnosenta. And with a guest. She loosens the clasp on her mask. Ugravitasta. Oh, horned woman. Oh, horns. I did not see these. Interesting. Wow. Must be heavy. Uh, you may call me. Oh boy. Jodariel. She is the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. I am horrible at reading names. Alright. Jodariel. Ariel. Jodariel. Jodariel? Yeah, let's go with that. Masked creature. <laughs> and as for myself, the small ones. The small one struggles with his mask. Jadariel soon assists him. Oh! Oh, he's a dog with sweet stash. That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Rookie? Greentail. Rookie. Ruh, ruck. Ah, let's go with Rookie. Such pleasantries out of the way. The horned oh, I thought it was dialogue again. Okay. Okay. Such pleasantries out of the way, the horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Is that so? Can he do it? Salahaladium. Hope so. I haven't asked him yet. What? Then what are you waiting for? Hey ya chum. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Oh, he is asking you if you are a reader. Uh, I don't know these people. And they wear strange masks and matching clothing. Uh, let's remain silent. Wait, oh, descriptions. Over time, you managed to learn something of the old ways in spite of Commonwealth decree. So we're not allowed to read? Uh, literacy is a serious crime. Oh, okay. No one in his right mind would dare violate the law of the land. Uh, who are you? Wait. Who you are or what you did to earn your sentence is not one's business but your own. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's remain silent on this. You stare back at Ruki but say nothing in response. He stares back for several moments, then grows angry. Uh-oh. Ricky Greentail. He is the smallest yet loudest of three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. Silent treatment, huh? Now then, wait. now, now. Don't you play dumb with us there, understood? The dumb don't have those kinds of markings. Those are something else. We know what you are. Peter, you owe us your life. We ask for something simple in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. The exiles indicate the books in their possession. Look at, take, have a look. So it's just this book, huh? Closed 
remnants, colorful robes, and ceremonial masks adorn one of the wagon's walls. Closed door. I must be back there. Feel very welcome now. A red candle. Intricate sigil. Alright, well, let's deal with this thing. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes bound in materials you do not recognize. Do I need to click on this the entire time? Can I just... Oh, I can. Oh! I like that animation. Uh, four word. Brief instructions on when, where, and how to commence the rites. Uh, interact or press Y for a clear look. Oh! Oh, okay. Forward. A former... A form... Formal. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader. This is a lot of reading I'm, I'm expecting. Of, are an exile of the downside, such as we... The eight who wrote this book of rights, that you possess it and have capacity to glean its words, is testament enough to your potential. Thus, we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Ear, ear, the turning of the year's first solstice. Seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of eight as they align as shown. Arrive as a triumvirate clad in the remnants of the rites bearing this book. Oblige the voice uh, that tells you more. Arrive as triumvirate. The stars themselves are uh, your Seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of eight as the line is shown. Huh. Oh, I should have looked at that map. Maybe that was important. Uh oh. Can I go back? Alright. Uh, the book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Hedwin gets your attention. Kisantirna. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. Uh oh, what's going on? Load screen. Something important? Rita! Oh! Dare Cutsy. you tamper with forbidden knowledge? Yes. So soon after your sentence into exile, mm -hmm. tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Good. Perhaps not you yourself, oh. but someone worthy of the privilege. You oh. witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights the one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Hello, Shay. Oh, Edwin. It worked. Glory Gatha. So, it is true. Poor oh, man. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? He should be out here. Wait. He should be out there still. For now. We have to put our faith in him. He could abandon us. He won't. You look upon three of them from beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. Oh, reader. We aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now, I swear to you, when we go out of here, you're going to come with us. 
But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asked. Okay. So celestial this is the battle tutorial from the heavens when the time is used nigh. to approach the celestial orb. Oh, okay. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate. Or they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. Press A to pass the orb. A is pass. A is pass. Okay. Hold A to pass to Ruki. Holding A. I'm still holding A. Oh! See, so okay, direction thing. Okay, got it. The three must act as one. Ah. Hold RT to sprint. Right trigger. Uh, dang. Didn't, 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 didn't read it. RT. What? That's a different button. Oh. Uh, sprint to you. Sprint until stamina depleted. Okay. Now plunge into the pyre with the orb and be purified. You got it. Yes. The oh, I like the fire the animation. Has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished. Hedwin is banished for now. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. In the rights, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware huh. the aura that surrounds them, and they shall beware yours. Used to approach the adversary. Oh. The aura is your wrong Nixas aura bound. Accept it as a part of you. Cast your aura like a stone. Hold B to banish adversary from afar. B. Only B. Oh. You like Correctly that. done. A, B, and Again. right trigger. Just so. A glorious performance, I admit. Pass. More Pace than I expected B. from the likes of you. Oh, once banished by R. <laughs> Grasp the orb Pay attention. once more. Pay attention, Lace Bones. Take back the orb. The orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb You lose your aura when you flame. have the orb. I'm not doing anything, he's moving by himself. Now I Press say X jump. to leap into the adversary. Leap with all your strength. Fire. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> into the flame. Oh, X. Jeez, I was pressing A. Thus sails the orb into the waiting flame. Headwind is returned. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre. Whilst yours yet burns. Uh. Oh. Uh oh. Well, uh. now that was exciting. Yes. Okay. Okay. These controls are a little something to get used to, but. Uh. What? I pressed B. Uh oh. B. Oh, I can't. I got to throw it. 
Wow. The night wings banished. I suck at this. Run. Run. How do you jump again? That's not how you jump. Shoot. X is jump. Ah. Wait. Oh, he has it. What? This is confusing. Oh, you have it now. Somebody get me off. Jump. Headwind plunged into their fire. X is jump. Right. Ah. Quite the turn of events. Ah. Okay. Perfect. The right is complete. There, dear reader. Now you understand. Whew, these controls are a little complicated. Or do you? This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back. Cast down your hope. But all those such as you? You never listen. Nope. During the rites, only one eye exile on each side is permitted to have... Okay. The others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. <laughs> Rookie. Well, that was something. You might not ask. That was our way out. So now we just follow the stars, or what? Sort of thought there. Supposedly. Rita, come. Let us regard the night. Uh, Jadario leads you outside, where a clear night sky awaits. Now, show us. Before the howlers catch our scent, where shall the rites commence? Rites, an ancient ritual competition through which the worthiest exiles regain their freedom. The eight scribes gave their freedom so that we may yet have ours. Prayer from the Book of Rites. You gaze at the stars, seek out your destination. Oh, uh oh. Caprice, the old star. Star of the Moon, Stag Hunter. Those born under it are ambitious through, though also discontented. Discontented? The, uh, discontented. Huh. I thought I read that wrong. Uh, Geminian, the Olden Star. Star of the First Empress. Those born under it seek knowledge and new experiences. None of these? Oh! Gold, the South Star. The South Star burns bright over a massive ridge of stone, much farther than the naked eye can see. Interact to determine the location of the next right. Oh, so it's this one. I think. Maybe. Probably wrong. <gasps> Dang it! Try to take a screenshot. Messed it up. Uh, hmm. 200 leagues due east. Oh, the ridge of gold. Concilia. Uh, all right. Almost had a burp. <laughs> Rookie. Great. And we are supposed to be there when exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. Then we had best get started. <laughs> Well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? Jodriel turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, chum. We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Freedom. The rights are are the key. It is a lot to take in. 
Your fellow exiles await you in the wagon. Join them. All right. Oh, this is a, uh, interesting. I think this is a good time to call the episode. Um, oh, downside prairie. So yeah, I'm gonna end the episode off here. Hopefully there was an auto save there somewhere. <laughs> Ugh. And uh, we'll continue this on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this new series. Hopefully, it's going to be a long one. Uh, uh, this is Pyre. I'm Lazy Bones. And um, take care of yourselves. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.